Hello, in this video we will be talking about how to clear or disable the memory on a TI-84 Plus family graphing calculator. I will discuss both the pros and cons to clearing the calculator's memory versus disabling the calculator's memory. Many high stakes exams do not allow any programmable memory to be allowed on the assessment. What is programmable memory? The apps key and the program key on the TI-84 Plus family are considered programmable memory. When you press the apps key, you'll see a list of apps that may be preloaded into your TI-84 Plus family graphing calculator. However, there are third-party apps that would make a numeric device like a TI-84 Plus perform some symbolic manipulation such as CAS features. CAS stands for Computer Algebra System and many high stakes exams do not allow that functionality. A quick example of something that might not be allowed is a program. I have written a program for the quadratic formula and you can see it in action right now. 1, negative 5, negative 6, so x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0, the solutions are 6 and negative 1. This is something that you may not want your students to come into the exam site with. So the question becomes, do you want to clear out this work or do you want to simply turn it off for the duration of your exam? Many people have learned that you can press second plus sign, select number seven for reset, and then you could reset either all RAM or all memory. Many proctors make the mistake of resetting all RAM but fail to realize there's a second memory which is the archive. Students could archive programs and apps and access them during the exam. I strongly encourage the press to test feature on the TI-84 Plus family. You can find the process for press to test on TI's website education.ti.com, go to resources, and then click on test preparation, and then learn more about the prepare your calculators for the test, find the calculator of your choice, and then you can follow the procedure for test preparation, press to test for the TI-84 Plus family. The document walks you how to get into test mode, if you have to get the calculators turned over from one exam to the next very quickly, and then how to get out of test mode after all assessments have been administered. Start by turning off your TI-84 Plus family member. Hold down the left and right arrow simultaneously, and then turn it on. Let go, and you will now see your press to test screen. The border at the top will turn blue instead of the traditional black or gray for the TI-84 Plus CE. Now you can set up the device as you wish for the exam. Angle, radian versus degree. It defaults to degree when you use press to test. The second option, stat diagnostics. That's your little correlation coefficient, the R value, when you do regressions. You can turn that on. Disable log base, yes or no. And then the disable summation, yes or no. OK is associated with the zoom button, and escape is associated with the Y equals. If I press zoom right now, I enter test mode. Press any key. When I press the apps key, apps have been disabled. Press any key. Finance is the built-in app. Second mode is your quit. If I press the program key, programs has also been disabled. Second mode is your quit. Since we chose to disable summation and log base, when I go to access those in the math templates, notice they are, have a strike through them 
you cannot access summation or the log of any base. Once test mode is enabled, students cannot get out of test mode by themselves. There's no buttons that they can press by themselves and they can't get out of test mode by hitting the reset button on the back of the handheld. After the exam's over, if you have to quickly get this calculator ready for the next exam, you can just repeat the process. Turn off the calculator, hold down the left and right arrows, and turn the calculator on. It will keep the exact same settings, but clear what the previous user used it for. Once the exam is over and you want to get out of press to test, this is the process. You will need a second TI-84 Plus family member. It does not have to be a CE. Also know that the other calculator can be in test mode, it can be out of test mode. It doesn't matter. But if you do this with both calculators in test mode, both calculators will exit test mode at the same time. Connect the two calculators together using the USB cord that comes with the TI-84 Plus calculators. Once you have them connected, designate which calculator will be the sender and which one will be the receiver. I will receive on the one that's in test mode. Second link, that's the X key, over to receive and press enter. You must be waiting before you try to send any information. On the sender, press second link, which is the X key. It's recommended to choose number four list. Press enter to select list one. I also recommend to press the down arrow so that you can see the little box beside L1. Press the right arrow over to transmit and select transmit. Now our original calculator already has a list one, but if you receive information from another device, you do not have a secure test environment which would unlock test mode. So if I choose number two, overwrite, it exits test mode, and when I press my apps key, everything is re-enabled on my device. One more time for good measure. Turn off your 84 plus. Hold down the left and right arrows, turn it on. Here are your press to test options. You can go through your options. This time I do not want to disable log base and I do not want to disable the summation. I press zoom and my calculator will enter test mode. Press any key. I'll do the same for my other device. Turn off the calculator. Press hold the left and right arrows. Turn it on. I will simply just enter test mode. So they are both in test mode now. I will press second link over to receive. Press enter. This calculator is now waiting. I'll press second link. Select number four. Select list one. I want to make sure it's selected. I press the down arrow. I see the box. I'll right arrow over to transmit and select transmit. Again, already have a list one, but if I accept information from another device, it breaks the security of your test site. So if I choose number two, overwrite, both calculators exit test mode at the same time. Using press to test, it clears the RAM and doesn't allow students to access any of the archived memory. The programmable memory, the apps and programs, are disabled. 
you have the ability to limit functionality, either summations or log of any base, and you can choose to turn stat diagnostics on before the exam begins.